really wanted to do a downhill supercross style trail. Harrison and I were looking to do another project. We were kind of talking to some people and then Big White, we didn't even know, but they were building a bike park and they were super interested in doing something with us. And um, so stars aligned and we got to build an amazing trail. Yeah, I think it was really key that Big White committed from the very beginning. It was instantly a little bit gnarly. We tried to come right off the road. There was just huge rocks everywhere. Then we kind of went down the ski run. The dirt was better, but we just knew that we couldn't really mine too much in that zone. It felt like the lower we got down, the better the dirt was. And it actually was a total blessing. We pretty much had two or three weeks, more or less, from the time we decided to do it to when we wanted to film it. And so we were able to dedicate all of the resources to that trail. Things are looking quite gnarly. Things are turning into a reality. It's happening. I know. Yeah, no, everything's looking really, really good. It's like exactly what I want to ride. I didn't know Bass very well before this, and so, of course, I'd seen him ride, but some of his ideas were grandiose, and it seemed almost not possible. Yeah, he'll tell you about something he wants to build. It's kind of hard to envision at first. You, I'm not saying it's undo not doable. You have some interesting visions. So different from what I'm visioning. I think that one of the most deceiving things about that trail is that for the most part, you could actually roll through like 95% of that trail. When it's being ridden correctly, like every single feature is a quad. Like it wouldn't be that bad. And you're gonna be compressed because it's a jump on, so you can just like it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. It's like a 20 foot gap into a death roller. I don't think it'd be that bad. Just getting shut down by some snow. Maybe we gotta do like the dry dance. <laughs> it's not snowing right now, so we're just making up for the snow this morning. I don't know how much we're actually accomplishing but try to make it work. It's kind of bittersweet because this is super sick, but we kind of don't want this dope fog for these shots or else it looks like the continuity factor goes way down. You want it to look like you're just doing a lap down the trail, but in reality, it's just shooting for 10 days straight. All right, uh, thank you your favorite Christmas jingle as you drop in, Bass. Well, Big White Ski Resort. Apparently this place is a snow-related resort most of the year, and uh, it looks like it's trying to transition back into its natural state. It was definitely a good thing that the Alpine Bike Park guys helped us with this one because they put in all the drainage and all that stuff, and the trail held up really well during all this weather. Dude, y'all good? How are you? I'm sore. Jesus. He was just laying in the drainage ditch. And that was the most heinous thing I've ever Look seen. Look at this helmet, man. Saved his life. And like, nobody was even filming this jump, but like everybody was down there and I was like, oh sweet, I'll just, I'll do this quad. I did it like the other day. And for some reason, I just didn't have the speed or whatever. So I was like, oh, I'll just tag it. And I just like, nose willied and just like was like nope no bringing this back and just like rode right into the wall of the ditch and just smashed it and so is that the one that bit you today no no that was no, the, okay different one. that was the on off yeah. i got bit twice tom and mitch had a little incident yesterday just tom like manual down like mitch's side tom just stay left and i'm gonna like try and pass you through this section but we came through and hopped off and I was like, he was pretty, pretty far right. And I was like, all right, dude, he's gonna move left on the next one. So I jump onto the table with him and then he just pulled up for the table and like whipped right into me. And I was like, nope, he's not gonna stay left. And I was supposed to stay on the left and I 
was a little bit too close to Bass, so, and I thought I was going to land on him. So I jumped to the right, and I landed on Mitch's shoulder. All right, boys. I think I'm going to hang out today. You could change one thing about the course, other than Billy. If I could change one thing, it would definitely be that jump. Well, there's a corner right behind it, so you don't want to overshoot it. You definitely don't want to case it. There was just one jump, it was a little hairy, and couldn't really dial in the speed. It was kind of a huge question mark. And it's just kind of hard to judge your speed into it. Just doesn't really, like it's, I don't know. And it's just really blind and intimidating. So we're gonna make it different. A lot less stress. Yeah, for sure. I don't like to be stressed. No one has ridden the biggest jump on the trail yet. So finally, it looks like a decision is made that needs to be changed. Mid-shoot, stress levels are a little high with everyone right now. Yeah, Harry is a wizard at the camera, and I never knew he was a wizard in the excavator as well. It was really good to change that jump. It was just a big question mark the whole time, and we got the machine in there. Didn't get done till it was pitch black out. And then, uh, yeah, next morning, came back, did some shovel work to it, and it was game on. It is hard to say. Might be better to just hit it. Yeah, let's just hit it. You'll know once you're coming in. It's easy to judge. Thank you. Oh. Nasty. You good? I'm good. Yeah. Everyone yep. Good. Yep. Sickest bike park trail ever once we're done filming this. Pretty much like he hit the nail on the head, like it was sweet, like had full on like super cross rhythms, like big jumps, and to ride a section that could make a mountain bike feel like super cross was like a dream come true. So that was pretty sick. Feels like you're on a dirt bike and you're just gapping and just trying to snipe tranny and keep your speed. It's pretty unique. I've never really ridden anything like that, so it was cool to do it on a downhill bike, and yeah, it was super fun. So good. How many, we got like five or six laps? Looks like we're gonna get lucky today. Finally. It's pretty early. Sunrise. That's what time it is. Got 100 sunrise shoot in a row. That's right. Oh. And like some booters in the morning. Yeah. Someone turn up the heat. Sun's up. We've been out here for two weeks now, shooting every day. A lot of the times we get up here and there's snow, it's raining, it's cloudy. This is honestly our like second or third really good sunrise. So we all knew exactly what we wanted and it was just kind of panic time, get everyone going and get what we want right when that light was firing. So after sunrise, we would all come back, have some second breakfast, have some coffee refresh a bit and then get ready for the next session in the evening. Oh, you can come over it or is it still fun? No, that was, that's pretty sick. Would you rather bass three the drop or flip the step down? <laughs> really? That quickly? Yeah. We had an inside joke going that everything 
was a joke. That's why we so call it the Joker. We are going to carry through with that. <laughs> you have no option. So are we shooting the thing at the bottom at all or no? So you just have to pretend that's all like ocean or something, like beaches, palm trees, soft stuff. Palm trees aren't soft. <laughs> They're pretty stout, actually. <laughs> yes! Oh, so we'll just do one more. It's like just a little bit of goodness out there for one more. I'm not doing anything else. I can flip that drop again. Getting some nice little presents here. Some bonus round. I thought everyone might be packing it in. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.